School opens in Edmonds on Thursday. Teachers in Tacoma ratified an extension of their contract last night, but they were not happy, not at all, with the terms. About 1,300 members of Tacoma's Teachers Association packed the Wilson High School Gymnasium. Teachers seem stunned to hear that the base salaries would go up by only 4.2% this year. What I'm saying to you is, we could have signed a proposal guaranteeing each and every one of us 4.2% for 1979 80 If we had done that, then we could not have utilized every dollar that came to us from the state. Because again, we are sure it will be higher than 4.2%. I'm not quite done yet. There were hostile questions from the teachers, but when it came to a vote, the contract was easily ratified. And union leaders said they were not surprised by the teachers' reaction. So it, when you face 25% cost of living increase over the last two years, I knew the teachers weren't pleased with it. But as we explained to them, and they know, we are trapped at this point in time by the restrictions of the state legislature, bless their hearts. Tacoma teachers reported to work today, and school will open tomorrow morning. Things have not gone so smoothly for two districts in eastern Washington. School may be delayed for some 28,000 students in Spokane City Schools. Teachers there have voted to walk out tomorrow unless they get a better contract offer. Pickets are already up at one high school. It would be the first strike in the history of Spokane District Number 81. And teachers in the Pasco School District are already on strike. Classes began as scheduled today with substitutes and administrators taking over for the striking teachers. There's more tonight on King 5 News. The bomb squad blew up a suspicious suitcase found in a Renton bank. Tonight we'll also tell you these reports. I'm Linda Brill in Linwood. A Seattle woman was last seen at this restaurant. She hasn't been seen since. I'm Aaron Brown in West Seattle. Tonight on Action Northwest, we'll introduce you to Carrie, who is a dog but no pet. I'm Jeff Renner at the Pacific Science Center. Another eclipse is coming. And we've got about as much chance of seeing this one as we did the last. I'm Al Wallace near Puyallup. Ray Johnson says it may take him time, but eventually he will find the right style of shoe. And the United States retaliates in the tuna war against Canada. I grew up on a farm. That's where I learned to make my delicious crab apple jelly. I learned another secret on the farm. Add grain to coffee for rich coffee taste without bitterness. Now Melorose found that secret. They start with three kinds of rich, robust coffees, then blend in roasted grain to take away the bitter edge for a delicious, full-flavored coffee taste. Ah, mm, just like back on the farm. Melorose coffee and grain beverage. Great coffee taste without bitterness. We're Color Time TV Rental, and we think you'll like doing business with us. See, our friendly, helpful people really care about making TV rental fast and easy for you. Call today. No deposits, no credit hassle, no long-term obligation. If you decide to keep it, your rent is applied toward ownership, and you never pay extra for service or delivery. Color Time TV Rental. We're going to change the way you look at rental TV. Call Color Time TV Rental in Tacoma. Call 572-4023, Lakewood Center, 588-1787. You often see the Firestone 721 steel belted radial on TV, but you don't often see Firestone's top line radial on sale. But now it is. Now you can buy Firestone 721 radials for as low as $39.95. You get the Firestone 721 steel belted radial, you get white walls, and you get real savings at Firestone stores. Oh, and remember, you can charge them too, but be sure to get them before September 15th, because uh, that's when the 721 sale ends. Catch the biggest salmon and win $10,000 first prize in this year's Seafair Salmon Derby. Tickets available at Ernst, Pay and Save, Sports West, and Yardbirds. Whoops! The Washington Public Power Supply System fired 81 workers at its Satsup site today. The workers walked off the job Friday morning, saying that a leak in a 1,000-gallon propane tank created a major hazard. Whoops officials said the tank was not leaking and that no danger existed. When some of the men returned to work this morning, they were told they were fired. The tank has been something of a problem for a while at that construction site. Whoops says state safety inspectors have checked it out and say it's safe, but even so, Whoops said it has plans to move the highly explosive gas out of the main construction area sometime this week.
A bomb scare forced the evacuation of a block of businesses in downtown Renton this afternoon. Police were called to the Williams Avenue branch of the Seattle First National Bank to check out two suitcases that had been left in front of the bank for three hours. They took no chances. Police ordered everyone out of the surrounding buildings and they called the Port of Seattle Bomb Squad. One of the suitcases contained only clothes, but the other was suspicious, and it was blown up. They did x-ray them, and they found a device in the one suitcase, this being the smaller one that was initially blown up, that uh, may have been an uh, electronic detonating device, and rather than take a chance on it, they did open it with explosives. What was that uh, device? That it was a man's uh, electric comb. Renton police say they don't know who owns the luggage and they don't know why it was left in front of the bank.